Shine goodness in goed gedacht olive oil and all the good they do for the community. Pick and pay. Always there for you. Thank you so much, Liesl. Yes, we are in the kitchen with Chef Chart. Man, it's been ages since we last saw you. I know. God, you. you've been allowed to cook back. with me again. Well, I'm allowed to cook with you. I don't know you which know, way around. Either yeah. way, it's <laughs> awesome. Either way, it's awesome. All right, so we are going to be cooking up a storm right now. What are you making? We are indeed. We're making a gorgeous lamb and mustard mash pie. Mm. So really simple, saying so really hearty. Oh, it's been rather chilly, and I must say, coming down the around the mountain early this morning. Oh, a little bit dark, but I'll anyway. Be, I'll be and, coming around the mountain, eh? Uh, coming around, around the mountain, yeah. I haven't quite got my my six white or black horses coming around yet, but anyway. We're working on it. So, All right, good, back good. into the kitchen, what do we got? I've got some uh, lamb mince that I'm just sort of browning off there. So, okay. get some lovely bit of uh, depth of flavor in there. So, lamb mince. I've got some diced carrots, diced onions, diced yellow, yes. and red peppers as well. Mm -hmm. I've always got my sort of flavor um, base there, which is the um, tasty it. beef um, with barbecue spice. And that's going to be sort of add to the base. Yes. There we got a bit of mash that I've made up here as well. So, very simply, Mashed potato, boiled potatoes. Mm. Try and keep them keep them sort of hold together. Yeah. That's really key. So you don't want to get it too waterlogged. We're just going to add some a little bit of milk in there just to loosen it. Mustard and mm. obviously some uh, mm. marge or butter there. In it goes. Combine it. I'm going to serve it with a quick bean salad. What a Simple. hearty meal for a cold Abs winter's oh, night. Indeed. All right. So onions in. Let's just get those. Starting to sweat those down very, very gently. Cool. Just turn the heat up there. And a little bit of seasoning as well. Always helps in the beginning. That's Not it. because I want the saltiness. I want those lovely flavors. Pepper? Oh, let's go for a bit of pepper as well. Yeah, no, I love my and black pepper. Let's just sort of give that a grind. And literally, let's get everything in here and just start start cooking it down. So oh, looks I think it's lovely. a great one. And again, make a big batch of it. I'm always telling people now, make big batches. The last thing you want to come home is cook. Make a massive batch of this. Yeah. Get onto your local pick and pay. You all these lovely ingredients. Make matches, pop them in the freezer, and when you're ready, it all just comes out. So exactly, you don't need to do much. I'm talking on oh. topic of pick and pay, of course. The special of the day, we have a block of a brick of Rama. It's 500 grams. You can pick it up for 15.99 at pick and pay. So that's the special for today. Very, very cool. Got, and you're saving. How's that? You are there saving, you indeed. You are. Right. So what's that all starting to come together? I'm going to get you charged the mash component, if I may and get you starting to mix and bring this all together here. So, lovely mash there. If you really want a fine mash, yeah. pass it through a sieve. Oh, and right. that's a sort of a bit um, Okay, do I have to mash it up a little bit? But anyway, just keep moving that around if you wouldn't mind. And Not then I'm just going to add in some mustard to start with. Awesome. So, this will be the best mash you've ever made. Absolutely. <laughs> it will indeed. So get in there, oh, the really start that mixing that together. That smell already, it just comes it is. out. It's oh, amazing. Gorgeous, isn't it? And then you're going in with your um, rama as well. So let's just take a good dollop of that awesome. in there. Mix it. You need a lovely sheen as well, which is fantastic. Nice and mm -hmm. hot. Really important thing is making mashed potato. When you're adding some milk or something, yeah. keep it warm milk. Warm mash, warm keep milk. Keep everything hot. Keep everything hot. All Funny right. enough, it tightens up. So it might sound a bit funny, you're going to stiffen up a mashed potato <laughs> that's in a puree. But it does really make a difference from, yeah. from chefy terms, I guess. From chefy so, terms. Look at that. You've got those lovely flakes of mustard there. I love it. Oh, look at that. In there. A bit of a taste. Mm. Mm. A little bit more. Mm. Go on. Let's yeah, you see the there. taste test. Just shows you how important the it is the test. taste test. Absolutely. Really important. So I'm just going to go back to my um, lamb mince here and just add in my peppers. And look at all those lovely colors starting to come together. Mm which I think is super vibrant. That's what's great. I love going down to pick and pay, shopping with all these bits and pieces, yeah. bring them together. It's colorful, it's bright, it's cheerful. That looks Especially nice though, eh? Gloomy, gloomy days. Very, and very nice. How's that coming together? Dude, really mash simple. is done. That mash looks done. good. I'm going to just add in my flavor contents into there as well, That's it. which is perfect. And oh, getting a bit That's carried it. away, but a little bit of mess, <laughs> that hurts. And then we're just going to add a little bit of water into this, and then we're done. It's that simple. It's that simple. So, of course, we have a, for you a very easy keyword as well that you can SMS to get this recipe. It is, of course, lamb to 33728, and we'll send you on that recipe. Oh, there we go. And literally, it's going to bring that to a very, very quick boil. OK. And then pop it straight into our baking dish, our mash on top, yes. and wait for a way. Is that it's it? It's that simple. It None. is that it. So let's just sort of take this now, and I'm just going to pour this right on top here. Hmm. Those lovely flavors. Again, just oh, color. I mean, we lovely. eat through our eyes and it just makes life so much easier. And yes. we can quickly take our potato and just sort of dollop 
that oh, along so the top. Oh, so that goes on top. So this goes on top. So this is your, your pie components. It's not sort of a, a typical sort of pie with a pastry or anything no, like that. I was waiting for actually for you to say like, oh, now you have to get your pastry out and that kind of thing. But like a sort of a shepherd's cottage pie sort of number, really. But again, very, very you're sort nice. of really jazzing it up. Look at the flavors. It's amazing. Similar ingredients that you can just sort of manipulate yeah. very lightly. And you've got a completely, completely new dish. So let's ah. just sort of work that around there. And then we're going to be popping this into the oven for about half an hour. All right. And when that comes out, you have got a gorgeous, piping hot lamb mustard mash pie. That looks good. So let's so get that in the oven. If you can pop that into the oven there for me. That'll got be it. wonderful. Oops. That there out the go. way. That goes in. It does. Fantastic. And look at it. Um, the one on the top has been raked uh, beautifully as well. We it's all about presentation. And come out. Just pick it up with your asbestos hands. <laughs> oh, yeah. goodness. Oh, look yeah. at that. Look at that. Look at that. So, all these lovely, gorgeous, gorgeous juices and all the rest mm. all working together. I think it's absolutely that looks fantastic. Amazing. So, let's get in here and let's come get a see. lovely. Oh, look how crispy dollop. that potato crispy is. Crispy top. top on there. Lovely mm. spoonful there. Again, get all these lovely colors, all that lovely lamb mints, all those lovely vegetables wow. on there as well. I mean, real hearty, hearty food. Good Definitely for Definitely going to be something um, that's going to keep you hot. Let's just have a little. Beans. I just sort of boiled them and then pop, pop them into some ice cold water. Lovely colour. Some toasted pine nuts. Oh, so that's your toast on. Okay. So nice bit of texture there. And how's that? Four wow. people under hundred rand. Just like that. On the oh. green mat, it goes. Not an expensive dish at all. Oh. Wow, at all. Chef Chad, that was amazing. I'm going to dig into that just now. Thanks a lot, man. Absolute pleasure. Very Enjoy. very easy keyword. If you want the recipe for this dish today, you just need to SMS the keyword lamb to three three seven two eight, and you can go and make this yourself at home. Thank you so oh. much, Chef Chad. Absolute pleasure. Very very nice. All right, so a quick ad. Hey guys, when we come back, Liesl is choosing a destination where she will be heading for our SA Tourism Adventure. See you guys just now. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.